If you've ever tried to make AI videos for free, you already know that most tools are either low quality, filled with watermarks, or force you into a paid plan after just one clip. But after testing every free AI video generator I could find, I discovered a handful that actually create realistic, usable videos without charging a cent. The challenge is that every tool comes with trade-offs, but once you see how they stack up, you'll know exactly which one to use to get the results you want. So in this video, I'll walk you through the best free AI video generators available right now, what each one is best for, and which one I'd recommend starting with today. Starting off with, it's called Vidful AI. Now, when you log into this, you will see this window right here. And for the credits you receive to actually play around with, you get eight credits, which means you can get two generations with 540p and one generation with 360p. You don't get too much to pick between in terms of settings, but to quickly walk you through what you already have, there is a prompting field that allows you to, of course, give prompts to the AI. And then if you add an image to it, it will automatically tailor it as an image to video type of generation. And then and it will automatically try to draw things from the image. Then for the settings in the free version, you only have the five second duration. And in terms of resolution, you only have 360p and 540p available. For the ratios, you can actually choose between each and every one. But I'd say that most likely, you are only going to use the vertical or the horizontal ones. So this is about in terms of what you can do with the free version. So let's actually test it out with a couple of prompts. I'm not going to be attaching any images for this first one. So I'll write a tree in a field hit by lightning at night. And then for the resolution, I'll go with the highest one available and click generate. Now, generally, most of the time, you want to go with some pretty simple prompts for the free generators, simply because if you tend to overcomplicate things with these simpler models, they will just give you kind of a blurred mess that will be hard to distinguish. So going with simpler prompts allows you to bypass that in a way. Now, the second thing worth mentioning is that the generation time will also be longer on these free versions, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It's just something you should be prepared for. You'll usually wait a little bit longer for some of these generations than you with the paid ones. But now that the video is done generating, let's take a look at the result. And generally, the result came out looking pretty decent. Now, there are some problems with where the lightning comes from, and also the very weird way the tree kind of moves like it's almost made of rubber. But in terms of general quality, the video looks pretty okay. Now, yes, it has the watermark, and yes, it's not the best resolution, but if we are just talking about the generation itself, the video is actually solid. Now, for our second prompt with this one, I want to go with a prompt that already includes a picture. For this, I'm going to use this simple picture of a dog. And then I'll write, a dog is running happily. I'll click generate and let's take a look at that result as well. Now looking at the result we actually got back, it doesn't look that bad. Yes, the anatomy of how the dog runs doesn't quite look real, but in general terms, the way the picture comes to life looks pretty accurate. And in terms of quality, I also don't think it loses a lot. Yes, it adds a fair bit of this drawn feeling, but I wouldn't say that's something you couldn't look past. So in general, I'd say this is a pretty good result for both of our generations. So for Vidful AI, although it's a tool you might not have heard about, it it actually gives out very good generations and it is definitely something you could try. One thing to note though is to be careful with your generations because it doesn't take much to run out of credit very fast. But if you're looking for a generator that comes from a more established brand and gives you a lot more free generations to play around with, the next tool will give you that. Because our next tool is actually made by Microsoft and it is Microsoft Bing AI. Now as you can see, when you are in the prompting field, you have the option between image and video. So you can actually create some free images as well. So here, you don't actually have the option to generate generate with images, you can only generate from text. And same as the last one, this doesn't give you much more control. Being a free version, you'll want to go pretty simple with your prompts. So for my prompt, I will go with this right here, a house standing against giant waves in a storm. Then I'll click create. Now, as you can see, once I hit create, I'll get sent to this new window. The generation time is way faster than with our last tool. Now that our video is done generating, let's take a look at it. I immediately see that the quality is way better. I think it uses a slightly higher resolution when generating. In terms of the actual quality, of the generation, a lot of the cliffs here are pretty well done. The only thing is that the storm itself behind my house looks more like a smoke effect. It has a lot of weird explosion visuals happening behind the house, so I wouldn't say it captured the storm aspect very well. But overall, I'd still say this is a pretty decent result. Now let's test it out with a simpler prompt than a storm. I'm going to go with something as simple as a single red balloon floating in the sky. So I'll click create and let's see what we get for this one. And here, with a much simpler generation, it is of course much better. Everything looks pretty good. So if you use this super simple prompt that doesn't require the AI to do much, you can get away with very realistic results. But if you're going for something more complex, as you saw with our storm prompt, Bing AI will lose its quality pretty quickly. And of course, the big limitation here is still the low resolution, just like with our last generator. But for our next tool, what we're going to be looking at, it doesn't actually force you into a low resolution version of itself. It actually delivers pretty high quality results, even though it's free. Let's take a look. The tool is called Wan, and Wan is generally a pretty well-known generator in the space. One of the coolest features 
with it is that it allows you to create free generations with its flagship model. Now you will run into much longer generation times because you actually get put into a queue with different people who are generating with the free version. But besides that, you can actually receive pretty high quality results. In terms of generation types, you can generate things with both images and text. For the models, you can use the newest model from one, which is the reason why you'll be able to get much higher quality results. And for resolution, you can go as high as 1080p with a variety of aspect ratios to choose from. So for my first prompt, I'm going to write a busy crosswalk in the city at night, neon lights glowing, just to test out how good it will actually handle all of that detail. Once you click generate, you'll see a pop-up that says queuing, meaning your prompt is now in the queue and you'll have to wait for it to go through before it starts generating. So the biggest drawback here, of course, is the waiting time. If you're looking for fast generations, one is not the one to choose because sometimes you don't even know how big the queue is. But if you are only focused on quality and you think that's completely worth the wait, then this could be the right tool for you. So after almost 20 minutes of generating, let's take a look at the result. And the result came out looking very good, especially compared to the prior two generators we looked at. Everything in the video looks very clean. The resolution is on point. And even in terms of detail, it came out looking very nice. Now, whether it's worth waiting 15, 20, or sometimes even 30 minutes per generation is completely up to you. But the quality is definitely there. Now let's take a look at a video using an image. I took this picture of a man running through the snow, and now I'm going to paste it in and write a man running through the snow, keeping it simple just to see how it handles a straightforward image prompt. So I'll click generate. And now that our video is done, let's take a look. The video came out looking very good. I would say that the physics are solid and the way the man is running, you can see how his clothes bounce on him realistically. All in all, this is a very solid result. So if you are looking for something that delivers high quality generations for free, one is definitely something you should take a look at. The final tool we are going to be testing out is Quen. Now Quen is a tool that works in more of a chat window format where you basically just interact with it directly. You have all of your videos displayed in this chat right here. It doesn't have any clear limits on how many videos you can generate for free. So you can feel free to run as many generations as you want. Of course, this does come at the cost of quality, but to test it out further, let's take a look at some generations. First, let's take a look at the models. Quen offers a couple to choose from, but I recommend sticking with Quen3 Max Preview since it offers the best quality of them all. So I'm going pretty simple for the first one. I'll just write a long car driving across an endless desert road. Then in the bottom here, you can select the aspect ratio. I will go with 16 to nine here, then I'll hit create. And now that our video is done generating, let's take a look. What I have to say is that this is pretty bad result in terms of quality. Even though the generation time is faster than the ones with one, the quality is just simply not there. The sand in the video doesn't look realistic and the whole thing feels more like a drawing than a natural scene. So let's test it out with one more generation and see if it does any better. Looking at our second generation, it actually came out a lot better than the first one. So similar to Bing, if you go with simpler prompts, you'll get better results. So in general, I'd say that Quen is a nice generator that combines faster generation times with pretty decent quality overall. So now you know the best free AI video generators out there, and you've seen they can definitely create some interesting results. But let's be honest, since they're free, they're not the best tools in the world. They're good for testing, for experimenting, and for getting your ideas tested fast. But if you actually want to see the tools that are really on another level, the ones professionals are using to make studio quality results, then watch this video next. The best part is, even though those tools are paid, I found a way to use a secret platform that very few people know about, and it lets you access all of them at just a fraction of the normal cost. So instead of paying full price for expensive subscriptions, you can use the exact same tools for way less. So if you want to see which AI video generators are truly the best and how to get them without breaking the bank, go ahead and click the video on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.